This third activity is the birth date calculator. And what this activity is going to do is make use of variables to calculate user input to determine what year the actual user was born. So as you can see here, I've already entered in all the labels to save time and done a bit of formatting to kind of get a bit of a theme going for my actual program. Remember, these things have to look good so that the user is attracted to use your program. So I've only done some simple editing, but you could actually make it so there's a background image that has kind of a birthday theme to actually make this look better. But let's get into this program and set up the important parts. So as you can see, I've only put in labels which are here to direct the user. So what I need to put next in is my text boxes to allow the user to actually input the data in. So as you can see, it's please enter the current year and how old you'll be turning this year. So we need a text box for the user to enter their current year and another text box so that the user can enter in the age they'll be turning this year. So let's go get a text box. Okay, here's one. And we'll add another text box as well. Here's our second one and we'll make sure they line up. Okay, so they'll be used for our user inputs. So this first one, I'm going to call TXT year, so I better name it. And once again, we need to make sure we have an appropriate name. So TXT, standing for text box, and year. And obviously the data that will be obtained from this will be the year that it currently is. Okay, and then for our second text box, it's gonna be called TXT, because it's a text box and age because it's going to be the age the user is turning this year is going to be entered into this text box. The other thing I'm going to have to add here is a label box to give us our answer. So I'm going to go select a label box, label and we'll pop it on. Now as you can see here we've got an issue because obviously I've got a black background and it's black text so I'm going to make it so this label box Firstly, I'll change his name and we'll call it LBL for label and answer because it's going to give us our response. But I might make it so the actual for color is white. So now we can actually see the writing and I might make it so that the font matches okay, what is there on the page. And I remember I've used Arial bold round and we'll make it a bit larger. So we'll go OK. And maybe I'll make the color yellow so it's differentiated from the text that's on the screen. Okay, and we'll line it up where we want it to be. No, we don't. Okay, and then the final thing I need to do is actually get rid of the text in the label because it's going to be blank until we want the response to appear. And now I can't see anything. Okay, so now basically everything is set up for me to code this program. The only thing I need to put in now is the button which will execute the programs running. So we'll go get the button. And here's my button. And once again, I can dress up this button as well. This button is going to be called BTN Calculate. BTN Calculate. And its text is going to be find my birth year. We'll deselect and we'll stretch the button so we can see the entire writing for that. There we go. Okay, and then we've obviously got to enter the code into this button. So I'm going to double click here. And basically, here's the coding for my button. So as with the last activity, the first thing I need to do is designate in memory my variables. Now, before I did that in the public class, but this is all going to be located within one button. I know it was last time, but because this is all constituted to one button, I'm going to do all my designating in the button itself. So I'm going to go dim age as integer. And obviously that's going to record the age of the user. I'm going to dim year as integer and this is the variable that's going to record the current year and then I'm going to dim answer as integer and for here okay that's going to be the actual calculation that the system does and then say the actual result the birth year okay back to the user 
So next thing you need to do then is basically say where are these variables going to get obtained from. Okay, so I need to put in my assignment statements. Okay, so age is going to equal txt age dot text year is going to equal txt year dot text then answer is going to equal year minus age okay so we subtract the current year from the user's age and then we want that answer displayed in LBL answer its text will equal the variable of answer. So let's quickly talk through it. We've declared the age variable to record the user's age. We've declared the year variable as an integer to record the current year. And then we've declared the answer variable to record whatever the answer is after our um, calculation. Age's assignment statement is the variable of age is going to come from txt age's text. The year variables assignment statement basically says that the year variable will come from the txt years variables text. And then the answer, its assignment statement is year minus age, and then it's going to get displayed through LBL answer text. So let's give this program a try now. So I'm going to go play, and I'm going to do my age, and this is going to show how old I am. So basically the year is 2018. And the age I'm turning this year is 34. And I'm going to go find my birth year. And my birth year is 1984. So basically, I was able to use variables in this program to not only just accept my input, but perform calculations with my input, allowing them to then give me a response, okay, based on that input. So we can do quite a lot of things through pre-programming variables and allowing them to work with each other to perform calculations, allowing us to make more powerful programs. So give this a try and hopefully the program can figure out your birth year.